Hello everyone, and welcome to a tutorial on how to upload models from SFM Lab directly into SFM in 2022. So I know what you're wondering, why am I making this video? Well, as I stated earlier, this is for 2022, and a lot of the videos that were made on this subject prior are from quite a long time ago, so I'm making this as just an update so people who are either new to SFM or returning to SFM or just simply need a reminder um, this is how you do it super super simple and quick So also be giving my personal tips on what I would do and also this tutorial doesn't matter your computer Other than for the 7 zip which I'll go over really shortly But I'll teach you how to uh, get to your places fastest and how to upload fast too All right, so let's go ahead and hop into this video So the very first thing you're gonna make sure that you need to have is your 7 zip extension so depending on your computer you'll download one of these three, right? And I'll leave the link to uh, this page in the description of this video so you can have quick access to it. So once you have that downloaded, go ahead and go into SFM Lab and pick whatever model you want. So for this video, I'll be using uh, this model right here. And once you click on it, you simply want to scroll down to the bottom, uh, near the bottom of the page, where it says, um, you know, file name and files. From there, you simply want to click download. If you're not a patron, which I'm guessing most people aren't, you simply want to select one of these green ones, depending on what uh, you know part of the uh, world you're in. For me, I'm in North America, so I'm going to select this folder right here. When we select that, it'll bring us to this screen and will automatically begin downloading at the bottom of the screen. Since I already have this downloaded, I'm just going to cancel this. But once it does successfully down download, you can go into the next step of this video. However, I'm going to take a moment to talk about SFM Lab. So SFM Lab is a completely free uh, website, so you can download really as much as you want. However, they are in need as they are a free website. So if you do feel like supporting them, go ahead and uh, donate a few dollars if you are would be so kind. So once your um, file has downloaded, go ahead and click this up arrow and hit show in folder. This will automatically bring you to the exact file location, so you don't have to go searching for it. From there, you simply want to double click that little icon. So when you click this, it's going to open up this little page right here. You're going to want to simply select the file that says the uh, name that you of the file you just downloaded. You don't have to worry about this file, it's not important. So go ahead and select here, and you'll see these three files pop up. Once again, there'll be like a little dot dot, and then there's going to be two files called materials and models. These are going to be the only really important files that you really have to care, care about as of the actual one who holds what you're going to need to transfer. So go ahead and highlight both of these folders, and go ahead and copy them. So it'll probably be something called copy files to clipboard. What this will do is it'll automatically 7-zip them and will allow you to uh, paste them into whatever location you see fit. So the reason why I recommend copying them and not simply moving them is because if you move them, they're going to be removed from this file. So for whatever reason, you need to come back to this file, you know, to look at the materials or the name of the models. You know, if you move them, they're not going to be here. If you copy them, you can always come back. So even if you do mess up, then they'll always be here. So, um, and also something that can save you a lot of time is go ahead and click on the models really quick and you'll see a file called, um, this is, it'll be different for every single model, but this one's called QG and you click on that it'll actually tell you um, the individual names of the files. So this is going to be important for finding your file files when you actually upload them into SFM. So make sure to just keep these in mind. So from there, you simply want to go back to your files. So you simply want to go back to your files and go into this page here. So this is where it can be a little bit complicated, but not very. So. Depending on where you have Steam downloaded on your computer is where you're going to need to go because you're going to be accessing the files of Steam. It sounds hard, but it's really not. For me, I have mine downloaded to my local disk, so I'm going to click on local disk. If I had it in my expansion drive, I'd select that, but because I have it on my local disk, I click my local disk. So from here, there's a lot of files. And to avoid any type of confusion, because my files might have a different name than yours, or you simply just might not have the files I have, simply go up to the search bar. Every file section should have a search bar that has all your files on your computer, no matter what computer you have. So, 
what you want to do from here is simply look up steam apps so when you do search up steam apps on your search bar you should see a um file called steam apps which is exactly the one you want to click on so go ahead and select that folder and then you want to go to where it says common and then you want to go down to well you know source filmmaker and then go to where it says game and that will bring you to this uh long page you want to make sure that you click on the one called user mod so this is going to be the most important file because this is going to be the one that allows you to be able to actually upload your custom models or models from sfm into the actual files of sfm itself so go ahead and select user mod something i'd recommend is you see this little um i guess pin right here this will allow you to pin this to quick access so i'm guessing i don't need to explain what quick access is it just allows you to be able to access this folder extremely quickly you know so if you want to upload more models in the future you don't have to go through this rigorous process of looking up all the files and just wasting that time when you can simply just have it on quick demand so as you can see here this is the page that you want to be on so go ahead and simply right click and hit paste all right so once it does upload you should see it highlighted and those two folders that are highlighted should be the materials and models folder and it should see the exact time and date that you did this um update so so from here you simply want to open sfm and uh which i already have open just for the easy use of this video and then go up to this upper left hand corner of your screen this little plus button or add button inside of the animation set viewer to where it says create animation set for new model so once you hit this there's gonna be a lot of files that come up especially if you have it under all mods which if you're a new guy it probably will automatically be under if you want to find your models so much faster go ahead and go to this mod filter and go to user mod if that name sounds familiar it should as that is the file that we were just uh, editing inside of our files so from here what you want to do if you want to find it so much quicker all you want to do is go to this little filter in the lower hand corner and look up a keyword from the file name so if you remember when we went back and we were looking through those um you know those files and going to the models let's just look up cute and as you can see here it's the first file that comes up for me and if your files doesn't come up don't freak out simply hit rescan and it'll rescan through all your models and it will show up after that if there still isn't there is a way you can uh completely refresh it but before you do that i just recommend closing sfm and opening it back up and it should be there if it if it isn't um then it, then it's more of a file issue and a steam reason not a u issue u issue and i'll make a video going kind of going on that uh later but that's kind of own topic and also you probably noticed here why this person has purple uh, boots and that's a texture issue and and this is really easily fixed but that's a video for another time as well so we want to do here is you simply just want to hit open up and it'll automatically open up that uh model into sfm to so you can have, do whatever you want with that model so yeah that's about it that's how you upload models from sfm lab into sfm very quickly and easily and if you have any questions about this video feel free to just ask those down below and i'll do my best of my ability to uh, respond to those and if you have any videos you'd like to see like uh how to fix some texture glitches or how to get rid of these weird uh you know black dots all over them feel free to ask those down below and i'll do my best to make those videos as well but that's all for now and i hope you guys do have a good rest of your day and good luck on your future animations peace